Nice. So when we need to come back, we can fast travel all the way back here. When you go all the way around there. It's not too bad though. And luckily there's not any whoa. Whoa. That's that is dope. What? Look at that. That's like a, a background. I could look at that all day. That's sick. Getting like destiny vibes looking at that. And then that lava down there is pretty cool too. Okay. Game is beautiful? Yeah, it is. Definitely. I, I see myself putting a, a good amount of time into this game is that there's a lot of options there's a lot of things and I feel like this game is a personally I think this is a very good streaming game just because uh, I mean just from reading the dialogue like they literally respond as if you're actually saying that which is pretty cool love the atmospheric immersion same here same the very it's very cool so far so Z I believe is is that special attack or I'm on it all together watch out watch out watch out nice uh, Z wait press Z to send your companion press X to order your companions to attack and what was the last option what does C do Also, one of these lets you, I'm not sure how you get to your, uh... there's a way to get to your companion. Oh, here we are. A uh, companion ledger shows you everything you need to know about your companions. You can see their skill stats, statuses, status effects, and gear. To change your companion's gear, first select the item you want to swap out, then choose collectible items to replace it with. Okay. So right now she's got a giant hammer and a pistol no armor uh, wait can I is it possible I wonder can you hide uh, like helmets from your characters oh they level up too that's sick I didn't know that I thought they just like hang out with you hey Oh, yo, Project CK. Thanks for yourself. Oh, wait, was that... That looked like that might have been, uh... That was YouTube. Somebody just subbed on YouTube. Hey, whoever that was, thank you for subbing to my YouTube. I forgot to change those out. <laughs> Appreciate it, though. Appreciate it. It's because it, uh, turned red. Thank you, though. Whoever it was. I know you change those alerts. So if I press ah, so that's the special ability. That's dope. Take that. Get him. Get him, I got him. I won it, I got it. Oh boy, 15 minutes. You know, I could stay in this game for quite a while, but I'd rather, I know Call of Duty is gonna be, I'm gonna be spending a lot less time in Call of Duty, so that's why I'm going to be playing that. Um, and then that way, once I'm done the story, jump into multiplayer here and there, then I can devote all my time into this game so really looking forward to that uh, let's get leadership up to 20 now so now we get that um, I think I'm gonna put some into stealth sneak attack attack unaware enemies while crouch to deal bonus damage 
uh, unlock access to restricted items, and then you can also lockpick doors and containers to free them open. Yeah, let's get that too. Let's try to get all these to 20. So we'll apply that. No new perks. Journal that. Uh, go to inventory. Same and same. Break it down. Break it down. Uh, rebuilt mining gear. That's 16 and that's four. Wait, what? but this gives you, yeah, I don't really need that. You can take that. Rebuilt mining gear. So if we inspect it, can we do anything? No, not right now. Plus five stealth, plus five tech. I think I'm gonna keep my hibernation for now. Modifications, quests, and junk. Journal. Uh, okay. Keep it moving. Gotta find you. Here they come. Ah! That's dope. Adios. Is there? Come on, there's got to be a way you can hide their their helmets too, right? You would think. Gameplay show companion helmets. Oh, it's right there. Nice. All right, good, good. I like that. Uh, one hundred percent prefer. Uh, no helmets. So now that I have some, ooh, there's an assault rifle. Lockpick that. Criminal activities, trespassing, lockpicking, or hacking are all considered illegal activities and frowned upon. Ooh. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in activities without consequences. Uh, pick up armor parts. Ooh. Not gonna read all that. Wait, is this the guy that shot himself? Sleep for eight hours? No, not yet. Gonna head out. Have a great stream, amigo. Hey, I appreciate it very much, dude. Thanks for stopping by and uh, have a good night. Appreciate it, Fatality. Thank you very much. Bypass. Yeah. That'll learn it. I Yeah, I'm pretty sure that dude killed himself. 10 minutes it's almost here bed what I will most likely be playing one or two campaign missions and then start the uh, maybe play a game or two of uh, multiplayer I'll probably only go until like 10 10 30 at the latest because I don't want to be up too late Move along, um, stranger. We don't want it. but I, I will put some time into it hey listen I don't know you I'm not Whatever a, I'm you're not looking, looking for, for ain't here. Move along. What's your problem? I'm looking. Uh, no, let's. I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Looking for the geothermal plant. Know anything about it? A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. What? You're better off asking what? after Adelaide. If you're gonna start That's wandering I... around my camp, know that I got my sights on That's who on I'm trying that. to talk to. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. I might no be offense, ruthless. but I've got a lot on my mind. Okay, sure you do. Alright, I'll get out of your hair. Much obliged. Yep. <laughs> Murder she wrote. <laughs> 
you can murder everyone in the game. And apparently you can still complete the Oh shoot, I didn't mean to burn. Oh gosh. It's so pretty. I didn't mean to steal that, but I totally just did. It's a if bad you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. Oh, she's Prepare nice. An illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Any questions, dear? You must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green thumb, grandmother, Grandma. the strange old lady who keeps <laughs> flowers. But yes, Adelaide, Adelaide will do just, just fine. fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank the voice you. acting in this game? You're Robert's girl, aren't you? Phenomenal. I remember when you were but a sprout. Actually, though, Thomas speaks of you. It's often. very good. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson. You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Love them That's trees. Here? What's Reed's idea of peace then? <laughs> You're living off power that belongs to the town. I don't be that. Reed asks you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. <sighs> this is serious. Um, uh, Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a deer thermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Well, your camp has a power uh, regulator. I need it for my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Or... Okay, I get mixed up here. I just want to fix my ship. A hero to you, maybe. What have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Yeah. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know I that's have. true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and... He raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends Poor them. Poor child. Made your point clear. I'll see what I can do. I don't like uh, throwing it in her face. Let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? I'll see what I can do. I nah, trust see. you will listen to your conscience. There's got to be a way to combine the two. Or convince them, right? You think, right? Divert the power. Okay, so you div uh, deliver Reed's message, but uh, return to head to and redirect the power. I like propose that you divert the power to the botanical lab, depriving Edgewater of power. Learn that there are power regulators in both of Edgewater. Reed asks you to deliver a message to Woodham before you uh, head out. Let's see. I'm gonna see if she wants Anything to talk. Anything else anymore. I can do for you? Is there a Thanos glove behind you? Uh, this might sound strange, but I don't know where I am. When we first talk, I assume you come to live here. I am getting old, you know. These two lamps of mine are not as bright as they once were. Or I might two have lamps. seen you for what you are. You have two lamps. I'm imagining you get a lot of visitors. My dear, we are all visitors in a momentary universe. Our lives flicker in and out like the guttering of a I thought flame. she was more mean than this, but gone. she's actually, like, Me and mine decent. are just carrying on as best we can, trying to live our lives in a way that does not feel wasted. Are you telling me about this? 
Until your power cuts out, anyway. I can't stop you from conducting your business down at the plant. I just want you to know that if you take our power away, you will have brought an end to our way of life. Whoa, I'm not that mean. Reed's making an offer in good faith. You should consider it. You could always continue your way of life back not in town. Reed's watch. He and I would come to blows within a day. And he would never tolerate my tending to a garden. This is my home. It will be my home even if Reed cuts our power. Simple as that. Reed's making an offer. You should consider it. If you think Reed does anything in good faith, then you are asking to be lied to. I mean, I could just kill him. You have some history? That's because Reed was my boss. I was the cannery's one and only flavor specialist, you see. Four minutes. Remember that limited run of white chocolate saltuna? That was all me. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's obviously more than that. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away. But Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. So sad. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. I'm guessing Reed has his own side of the story. Sounds like the town turned its back on you. A fish rots from the head down. I do not blame the town. I blame the leader. We've talked enough. <laughs> It's like I'm tired of hearing your shit. <laughs> uh, okay. Damn, is it even worth going over there? Um, 